Welcome to another wonderful time with Jesus on the glorious morning shower. It is my privilege to bring the word of God to you this morning. A part of your morning devotion, linking you into his presence and ensuring that your day ends on a glorious note. Today is the 21st day in the month of September 2024. And as it read that today is a Saturday, it is expected that we have a quality time with God in the morning, giving Him thanks for everything He has done for us all through the week preparing for a wonderful time of worship and fellowship with him tomorrow. The word for our shower this morning is the good shepherd. And our focus is following Jesus as the good shepherd who knows and leads his sheep. So our target is to ensure that we follow Jesus, not following man. Not allowing situations to deter us from following after Jesus. The scripture is for today is John chapter 10, verse 11, NIV. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Jesus Christ, in his own war, declared himself to be the good shepherd. See, it is a title or this title is rich with meaning, drawing on the imaginary of a shepherd who knows, loves and protects his sheep. Unlike a hired hand who might abandon the flocks in time of danger. The Good Shepherd is deeply invested in the well-being of his sheep, even to the point of laying down his life for them. Now, when we talk about our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, it is very important for you to know and relate with Jesus beyond the context of religion. If you look at Jesus beyond the context of religion, you only stop at the letter. You will not get to the spirit. And it is the spirit that determines or communicate relationship. So today, now just imagine who Jesus is to you as a shepherd. Say, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd laid down his life for the sheep. And that was exactly what Jesus did. So when we believers, Christians, tell you give your life to Jesus, it's not that you are dashing him your life. It's, it's a way of acknowledging the fact that this person we are telling you to give your life to has done what any man that deserves to be given life to has done. He said, a hired man will abandon the sheep in time of danger and so it is today when you entrust something very important to the hirelings they will abandon the work they will not do it dedicatedly the way you would have done it yourself so jesus is not a hireling he is a good shepherd he is the owner of the sheep so he laid down his life for his own sheep. And today, I want you to look at your life. Are you part of the sheep of his pasture? Have you genuinely handed over your life to him? Do you truly know Jesus? We are not talking about going to church. We are not talking about being born into Christian home. We are talking about having an encounter with Jesus. Believing that Jesus is truly the son of the living God who laid his life for us. Please don't allow 
social religion. I call them social religion because they are neither Christian nor the other religion who parade themselves on the on the social media. They take team trying to bring ideology. Ideology can never determine, can never explain the things of the spirit. The Bible said, whatever is born of God is of God. And a, a carnal man can never understand the things of the spirit. And it is that carnality can never define spirituality. So I want to believe that today. You will sit down to meditate the kind of life you live. Were you at a club last night? Jesus will never have his sheep go to club. But if you go to the social media now, they will tell you, is it bad to go to club? Is it bad? And that is what the devil is doing by creeping into, into standard that Christian doctrine forbid. A man came on the pulpit and said, it's not bad to smoke. That if you smoke, you, you are not offending God, you are only damaging your body. So we are advising you, we are not advising you to stop smoking because it will determine whether you go to hell or not. That smoking cannot take you to hell. Smoking is going to damage your body. Okay, the damaging the smoking is going to do to your body. Is that not a, is that not hell enough? That's why I call them social religion. That social media religion. They are not Christians. And I want to let you know today that the person behind everything going on, castigation, argument, and fighting on the social media is the devil. Because he wants to reduce Christianity into nothing. But you know that God will never allow that. Many have come in diverse, come in diverse way, but they couldn't succeed. So this time also, God will rescue our faith in Jesus and make many of us who still believe in the Lordship of Jesus never to be discouraged. Today, beloved, I wanted to acknowledge the fact that the good shepherd that you truly need is Jesus. Following Jesus as the good shepherd means trusting him with every aspect of your life. It means listening to his voice and following where he leads. Even when the path is uncertain or challenging or not pleasing to you or may not be what you expected, always remember that Jesus promised that his sheep knows his voice and follow and will follow him. John chapter 10 verse 27 This relationship is built on love and trust, not fear and compulsion. I will never compel you to give your life to Jesus. It's out of love. I love Jesus and I have dedicated my life to him. I'm not perfect, but I'm praying that before he calls me home, he make me perfect. I'm praying that I keep working my way every day into that perfection. Living a good life. Correcting my errors and my mistakes because I have many of them. And I believe you also have yours. The only person that will make you go down that way in surrendering, acknowledging your errors, looking up to him for correction is our Lord Jesus Christ. When you mingle with these people I'm talking about, they put more evil, they make you more evil. So please, beloved, this morning, give your life entirely to Jesus, who is a good shepherd. Our true life story today is a story of Emily. Emily was a young woman who struggled with anxiety and fear. The pressure of life often felt overwhelming and she found herself unsure of which direction to take. One evening, during a church service, the pastor preached on John chapter 10 verse, 10, verse 11, emphasizing Jesus as a good shepherd. Emily was deeply moved by the message and realized that she had been trying to navigate life on her own without fully trusting Jesus to guide her. Determined to change, Emily began to spend more time in prayer and reading the Bible, seeking to hear the voice of the Good Shepherd. As she learned to trust Jesus with her worries and decisions, 
she experienced a profound sense of peace. The more she followed his leading, the more confident she became in his care. Emily found that when she surrendered her fears to Jesus, he faithfully guided her through every situation, providing wisdom and comfort along the way. Beloved, surrender your fear and your worries to Jesus today and you will see him lead you as a good shepherd. The Lord bless you this morning on the glorious morning shower. It is a new day and I pray in the name of Jesus that this day be your own day in Jesus' name.